of the classic mistakes people make on ladders is overreaching. They overextend. Once you get that belt buckle outside of that rail, okay, you're in trouble because the ladder wants to go that way and you want to go that way. So they don't work together very well that way, okay? Do you know what a CAS is? A controlled access zone. So you're working in front of a door, right? And you don't put any tape or, or, uh, or delineators up. Some dude comes flying through that door and takes your ladder out. Yeah, because you didn't control the area. You know, it's your responsibility to control that area. So what are the hazards we have with ladders on, on, the, on the construction project or even on the maintenance project? Um, you know, don't use the not a step. The top two are not a step. It says right on there, not a step. I don't care if you paint it off or it's chipped off. It's not a step. It's not a good place for you to stand. You don't have any balance up there. It's way too easy to tip out. Um, the other biggest hazards are making sure your ladder is set up properly. We're in a tight area. You can't get it open. Is that ladder set up so it's not going to fall? Um, the manufacturer says the cross arms will be locked in place. Is that really always required? You need to make sure that you're setting yourself up properly. Um, probably some of the biggest hazards we have associated to ladders are other, la other uh, objects that are in the ceiling. Going up to get to our ductwork to install our ductwork and running into ceiling wires or running into uh, hangers or conduits or pipes, things like that. So it's that whole project hazard. Now that you're raised up on a ladder, you're in a fixed spot. You, know, you can always hit your head, hit your shoulder. If you, if you have to carry something up your ladder and both hands are full, then we need to find a better way to do it. Where's your partner? You know, where's your rope? Let's set this up right. Generally, one of the hazards of using a fixed ladder is that fixed ladder has been around for a long time. So someone needs to periodically inspect it to make sure that it is still in good condition. Fixed ladders are oftentimes in locations where uh, cranes are being used. So in a manufacturing facility, they may be using a crane uh, to move materials around as they're building new uh, product. Um, those cranes, uh, the forklifts, the materials being moved around um, can strike a fixed ladder and no one even pays attention to it. No one even notices it until six months later when the maintenance personnel need to go onto the roof via the fixed ladder. And at that point in time, they encounter a damaged fixed ladder. So fixed ladders are oftentimes exposed to outdoor elements, to the weather. Um, they can rust, they can degrade over time. Uh, so the hazards are that they're not used very often, but when they're used, um, people generally don't take the time to properly check them out before they're used to make sure that they're in good condition.